Hello and welcome to another video from the Micro Rooster. Today's topic will be advanced drilling using templates. We have another video about drilling and we do talk about templates, but we're going to get a little bit more in depth about how to drill to different templates, especially from dashboards. So let's start with a data set as usual. I'll show you this data set source. It's a copy of category sales. Um, I have a few items here in the filter and in the few attributes and a few uh, metrics. So let's make a few changes here and then use this as our entry point. Notice that uh, the category is the level that we are computing our uh, metrics at. So we might want to drill to a different uh, category, uh, different level such as subcategory or a different uh, time uh, dimension. So let's remove the category here and turn this into a lower level template. Let's add subcategory. Let's add it to the page by. And now uh, we can save this as a template. But remember, you can't use derived elements. So we have a couple of derived. We need to get rid of them. Let's just remove them off the report. The purpose is show drilling. So we need to not worry about those items. Go to the template, save template. Don't save the report because we're trying to keep that as the parent report. We're just trying to save the template here. By doing this, you are not impacting the source report. You're just creating a template. I'm just going to call it local template. All right. And now this is a template. I'm not going to save this report because I need to keep my parent data set at the category level. So I'm just going to close this out. All right. Go back to my original report, and now I need to embed the drilling to the template. Right. Just go locate my template that I just saved moments ago, and I'm going to make the month drillable to the subcategory level template. Okay. Once I'm done with that, I'm ready to save. I can test my drilling in the desktop just to make sure that the functionality works. There we go. We got month. We got books. Here, I'm going to drill on a specific bond to template. See what happens. All right. So I'm getting the subcategory and the month, but Let's double check, make sure we're doing the right thing. Let's look at the report filter and see what's being passed. We notice that the month is being passed. It's using the report filter and the report so the user selection, but we noticed that the books category was not passed. So we're missing something here. We need to adjust our uh, source report to allocate for the page by drilling. So if you want to check your results, just pull category here. And you'll see what I'm talking about, that there's no filtering on the category level yet. Notice that we have all the categories available. We don't want that. We want to be able to filter and make sure that our filtering is taken in consideration our selections. So let's just modify some of the properties of this report to make that happen. Under the report data options, under general drilling, notice there is an option that says, "Any <clears throat> do you want to take the page buys when you drill from the page buy? Sure, but what about other drilling so, such as month? Yes, we want to be able to drill by month and still pass by the page buy. So that's a good uh, decision to make. Now we can test our drilling and let's make sure this time it worked. Put on category back. And let's see how many categories we have. One. Perfect. So now our design is accurate. And if we look at the filter description, we would have noticed that as well. Now, here's the important part or where things come into play when you're creating your dashboards. I have to warn you, it's not as straightforward as the report drilling. There's um, some difference in behavior. 
So I'm going to run my dashboard. I'm going to add a data set and then I'm going to embed my data set into the report. I'm just going to use it as is. I'll just drag it in there. And what do I need to do? There's no page by, so I'm going to substitute for selectors. This is where it gets a little tricky. The assumption is that selectors are going to behave like page bys, right? Wrong. They don't automatically behave like page bys. They just, the drilling does not interact with them exactly the same way. Um, I do think that that's a drawback. I think my strategy did not handle this as well as they handled the page buys. So let's try our selection here. Great, it works. Now I selected books category. Let me drill to my local template and see how that works. All right, great. Now you'll notice something. Look at the category. Subcategory are in the reversed orders. And it appears that, oh yeah, we're selecting books and books are being passed by. But no, actually we are not. And that's a misleading uh, default that MicroStrategy produces for you when you design this. So notice all the categories are there. So what, what, what happened? The selector books was not passed by. All of the categories were passed by. So we need to fix that problem. There is not a setting that allows you to fix that problem. So we need to get creative about ways to do this. There might exist multiple ways to do this. One is you redesign the template of the, uh, the drill down template and uh, you add the category to it. Or another is you just pull the category in, the parent attribute in, and resize it and hide it. All right, so now this looks and feels exactly like the same report we started with. Make sure that you don't use the uh, filter selection. You want to change that to a total. So let's modify the selector so it doesn't duplicate our results. Just make sure you change it. And instead of all, we're going to use total. And we need to change the option of filter as total. And that way, we we'll only get one category at a time. Reset, books, total. Great. So now when I choose a specific category, after I modified my selector, and I added the category with a zero width, and I drill, guess what's going to happen? It's going to work out. There you go. Books now is being captured. Not because the selector had books, but because the column <coughs> or the row on the source had books in it. Even though it was zero width, the books, it was still being captured. Thank you very much.